I'm putting it down for the argument league. This go measy. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all go over there and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, jump in that comment, cause the chat be lit. Shout out to my people in the chat. And even you off in the back. If you ain't here where you at, it's the league. Cause it's gonna be fun. We got the Maya Court coming. We got the Black History Trivia coming. And most of all, the most anticipated, most waited for backstage of the debates. Oh yeah, it's a debate lead too. Make sure y'all go check it out. Peace within, peace out. Kinfo, Kinfo, let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Pull up a chair, come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. So we about to what? Break bread right now. So I'm coming to you right fast got a quick little video i want to you know what i'm saying share with y'all real fast and react to because i feel like it's just that important you feel me um but after this i promise y'all we hustling we hustling we hustling you feel me so without further ado here we go iris has the potential to be seen as many different things something to fear a quarantine enforcer and even a deadly killer and this is the reality we're collectively experiencing. And as the designers and creators of our collective reality, we must accept that we cannot always control the circumstances that befall us, but we can control how we respond to them. Right, right. If we were to take a look at COVID-19 from a higher perspective, we Let's might do just that. see a very interesting picture come to form. The coronavirus pandemic is potentially a wake-up call, a huge lesson for us, True and that. an opportunity for massive change. While the long-term results of the coronavirus pandemic are still yet to be seen, there's no question that it's transforming life on Earth as we know it. By Run that back. While the long-term results of the coronavirus pandemic are still yet to be seen, there's no question that it's transforming life on Earth as we know it by bringing to the surface so many conversations that we need to have. Fact. Conversations such as wet markets, treatment of life, quarantines, health, hygiene, and collective responsibility. Facts. But the thing is, absolutely none of these conversations are the beginning nor the end of the dialogue. They are all the results and responses to the experience of this pandemic. None of these actually address the higher understanding of the whole thing. Now before we get too far in it now, as they lay it off, there's some of the things that we talk about over here. You feel me? Uh, we talk about how it's important that we pay attention to like the higher perspective rather than just looking at it from a human perspective we have to look at it from a higher perspective what are we learning from this you know what i'm saying and what other way could this come about you know other than it be for a higher come on a higher purpose let's go in a great deal of insight if we did again this is good news to take away their fear Good news to take away a fear that was once there. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you know, once you once you eliminate the fear, nothing left to do but to find solutions, right? So let's do that. If we dig into the name itself, coronavirus. Corona directly translates to crown from the Latin. By the nature of the name itself. Oops. Oops. Shout out to all my friends who, you know, we went through these conversations together. Shout out to Kevy Kale, you feel me? Hope you in the building, family. Remember these conversations, family. What we are dealing with here is a crown virus, which it was named crown for virus. its characteristic crown-like protein spikes. The significance of the name crown here relates distinctly with two important areas of focus, the spiritual crown and the physical crown both of which relate with the topmost and zenith aspects of a system. We also see the word corona relating with a certain part of the sun, and we'll look at this soon. In these systems, the word crown generally relates to the organizing leadership of the higher order. Okay. In the physical systems, crown was the name for the headdress that was a powerful symbol of authority. And okay. the name symbolically was then essentially given to those in power, like the king or the queen. And while it's not really used by democratic systems today, the word crown essentially still relates with the topmost of a social system. Now, in spiritual systems, we see the word crown being used to describe the Godhead. 
in both the chakras and the tree of life, the topmost sphere is called the crown. Right. These systems describe that this important point on the human body, the top of the head, is the place through which we connect with a higher understanding, which allows us to develop greater wisdom and the inner knowing that all things are connected, no matter how separate and isolated things may appear. This is especially interesting given that isolation becomes one of our most valuable tools in combating the spread of the virus. The ancient wisdom describes that when the crown is blocked, or we are unable to connect with the higher expression of our interconnected nature, we create a reality of duality consciousness and live our lives as if everything is separate. And this is one hidden lesson that we find with COVID-19. What we believe to be true today is that the virus itself probably began within wet markets in Wuhan. Now there are some theories suggesting alternatives to this, but for now, as this is the leading theory, let's continue with this idea. These are filthy environments for selling both live and dead animals. And these environments are places that bacteria and viruses can easily mutate and spread. It should come as no surprise when you keep animals jammed into tight cages, experiencing terrible suffering while other animal carcasses lay saloon about everywhere, it's only logical that this becomes a breeding ground for bacteria and diseases to jump about from host to host right. and eventually Which mutate its big. way into the very people who frequent these environments. Exactly. Take a moment to consider just how much fear and anxiety is being created by those animals in the wet markets. It's mm. no surprise mm. that something negative has come out of it. Calm. If we knew, if we really knew that we were interconnected with all of life, we would most certainly treat these animals with significantly greater respect and create Indeed. environments that would be clean and healthy for everyone and everything. Exactly. Further, another lesson that comes from this shift to unity consciousness is the knowing that it's not exclusive to Wuhan and it's not appropriate to point the finger at anyone but ourselves. Exactly. In today's world, chickens, cows, pigs, fish, and basically every kind of animal that we actively use for mass livestock are treated horribly with incredibly poor living conditions. We just published a movie called Healing Your Body with Food, and I especially recommend watching it if you want to know the truth about where your food comes Check from. Check it out. Check it out. This conversation then fractals into nearly every aspect of our lives. How do we treat ourselves? How do we treat each other? Exactly. How do we treat the environment? We are now seeing reports that global smog levels are at a collective all-time low, that nature is actually healing itself for every day that humans stay inside, demonstrating both the living vibrance and the power of nature, and how we actively kill nature through the mm. systems and technologies that we use to live our lives. Come on. Recently, there was even Talk an about that it. the canals of Venice are not only running clear water, but also have fish swimming through them for the first time in six years. Talk about it. Think about this for a moment. Our collective pandemic, which has caused us into isolation, has allowed for nature to begin to thrive mm. day by day. Mm. That's kind of remarkable. But what's to stop us from going right back to our old ways the moment exactly. the pandemic ends? Exactly. We really have to take this seriously. Because if we only focus on ourselves and our survival during this pandemic, and not everything else, like the effects of our civilization on the world, well, I'm concerned that there will only be more suffering to come until we learn these lessons. Now, as mentioned earlier, we also see that Corona not only translates to crown, but is also the name for a particular aspect of the sun. Exactly. Specifically, Come on. the sun's corona is an aura of plasma that surrounds the sun and other stars and extends millions of kilometers into outer space and is most easily seen during a total solar eclipse. And I could have sworn that when I looked it up, they said it's a plasma that envel envelopes off the, envelops off the sun or envelopes off the sun. What, what more message do you need? You feel me? Um, Intelligence is light, is the equivalent of light, you feel me? Bringing light to a situation, you feel me? When you get a bright idea, light bulbs, it's coming from the sun. Come on, man. We should wear a crown. Like, this is a joyous time right now, you feel me? It should be a joyous time, fam. Now, speaking of the sun, the sun is essentially the crown of our solar system. In a long, exactly. almost forgotten past, the sun was seen as the King essential King. soul, the visible God That's in why. the heavens, and a demonstration of the power of the supreme oneness. You might even be familiar that long ago, the sun was given the name Sol, essentially meaning sun personified. Regarding the sun's corona, and you also see why certain people are associated with having soul, people that are associated with the sun. At one point in time, there was a group of people that was called 
people are sold. All they music was called sold this, sold that. All they food, sold this, sold that. Soul brother, soul, come on now, soul sister. Sea native is at the outer edge of the sun itself, just like how the tree of light describes that the crown, called Keter, resides at the outermost edge, containing all of the other spheres within it. So too, as with us, the crown chakra relates with the farthest point on our auric field, the place from which our own personal energy interacts with the energy of the rest of the cosmos. Indeed. So the fact that the sun has a corona, matching the name with this virus, might extend our imaginations to conceive of a higher spiritual lesson here. Perhaps in some way, we can begin to see ourselves as more interconnected with the higher order of the cosmos. Indeed. It seems as though the lesson here is that COVID-19 is a result of our own lack of harmony. So let's talk a bit about this from a more practical level for all of us. There is so much fear around this virus, and I get it. The possibility of imminent death can be scary. However, the fear itself is very quick to block us from recognizing that there's so much we can do about this just yeah, on our own. Clean out the mouth, I think man. it might be valuable to see that, just like COVID-19, our Thinking fear itself tissue. is also a virus, and one that spreads even faster than coronavirus. It is. What's worse, fear is they a virus. go hand in hand. When we see are how afraid, steeped in anxiety and panic, our bodies release cortisol, the stress hormone, too much cortisol and it rapidly breaks down vitamin C, which lowers our immune systems. In addition to being more at risk from coronavirus, this also can lead to rapid weight changes, skin that bruises easily, muscle weakness, diabetes, and many other health problems. All of this just from living in panic and fear. If we can recognize this quickly, COVID-19 provides all of us with a great opportunity, a time for us to use this period of isolation as a point of introspection, of self-discovery, of learning and evolving so that when the virus is Indeed. gone, we can emerge from our homes as stronger, wiser, and We definitely should use this as an opportunity Two, to rise from our home stronger, wiser, you know, for those who, um, for those who, <laughs> who, for those who have been eating healthy, um, this is an opportunity for you to rise up and get your crown. You know, these things that we've been working on up until now, for, for a lot of us, you know, having mental clarity, having a sense of confidence, ability to make changes that they always wanted to make. So when you think about those things, it's like, mm, a lot of us are rising up and getting our crowns. But also, as she, as she stated, if you're being put into a, a state of fear, you know what I'm saying, and panic, you being tricked completely out of your gifts. You know, for my Christian folk who know what I'm talking about when I say we should wear a crown. You know, the descriptions they gave about the celestial bodies, you know, that, that let us know that these times that we once thought we needed to wait for are here now. We're living in those times. You you know, your, your son, your king of king is here. It's always been here and it's showing itself. You feel me? Like I said, this plasma that comes off of the sun shows you, shows you who they are and what it represents. So when you think about what time it is, it's your time. And if you're not prepared physically as well as spiritually, it won't be, it, it won't be conducive for you to see the things that are becoming of this time. But recognize this goes in a cycle. Recognize this the love that the energy that comprises us halves for us, that it comes around every so often, ready for you when you are ready. Ready for you when you are ready. Recognize this is a grand time, so don't be scared at all. Look to your brother, look to your sister. You might be surprised what they have in store for y'all, what, what they can offer you, you feel me, in these times as they have cultivated themselves. Family, I tell you this because I love you. I love you as myself. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. As we are one. Kenfo, Kenfo. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Let me see what they talking about. Pull up a chair. Come over here to the round table. We about to break it all down. Say we just what? Broke bread right now. Lovely day.